Start off in a tabletop, keeping your belly button, the spine, shoulders stacked with the wrists, hips over your knees, and begin to do some cat and cow stretch. Go ahead and drop your belly, lift over the sky, inhale, and then exhale. Cat, put your belly button, inhale, keep in the sky, and then exhale. Move slowly to a child's pose. So scooting your hips back. If your knees are a little tight, just work into it. I'm just kicking up those heels, inhale, and then exhale, push it back. Until you come all the way down, so just keeping those hips towards your heels. So inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Holding in child's pose and just um, some, some gentle sway side to side of the hips. You can um, move your forehead or move your head side to side, massaging your forehead. Or finding stillness, whatever feels good to your body. Then go ahead and move over to your right, stacking your left hand over your right, pulling your left hip down. And then walk over to the other direction, stacking your right hand over your left, and then pulling that right hip down. Taking it back to center, and then bringing those knees together, and then sitting on the tops of your feet, and let's just begin to roll the shoulders back. So really open up that chest, keeping your shoulders stacked over your hips, and that's for about three. Really exaggerate, pulling the shoulders back, keeping the shoulder blades, about five, six, seven, and eight, and then take it forward for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And just placing your hands anywhere was comfortable and just begin to rotate your, your head one way for about eight, for three, four, five, six, seven, and eight in the other direction for one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then just finding stillness, taking your head back to the center. And let's get some side stretches here. So lifting your right arm, stretching over to the left. And cracking open those ribs on the right side. And then reaching both arms up and just changing directions, other side. And then rising both arms up, we'll come for a twist. So turning towards your right and then taking that uh, right hand on your lower back and then opening up that right shoulder looking behind you. And then inhale and then other direction. Inhale, rising both arms up and then exhale, hands to heart center. So we're gonna come to that uh, tabletop again. Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and get that blood flowing back into those knees. This is extending that right leg out. Do any movements to get that blood flowing back into the knees. Stretch out the feet. Then other side. Okay, so let's just stretch out our, our wrists a bit more. So um, when we face our fingers towards us here, and then we're just going to go ahead and and again, uh, sit back. Think about sitting back into those heels. Just a gentle uh, stretch here for your wrist. Just 
You're gonna just come on the tops of your hands and be, 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 be very careful here, don't put too much pressure in here. So just gently touching the tops of your hands. Okay, and then we're back to our tabletop again. We're gonna come into our first downward dog. So go ahead and rising those hips, pushing your chest towards your upper thigh. Just begin to pedal those feet again, just you know, stretching up those feet, getting them nice and warm. Crown the head face on the floor. And go ahead and rise that right leg up, stacking the hips here. So your hands should be even in front of your mat. And then straightening up that, uh, that right leg for a three-legged dog. So this time we're gonna step it through. So go ahead and take that right foot and step it through. So now we're in a runner's lunge. So think about pulling that right hip back, that left hip forward. And we're gonna rise up. You can rise up on your, with your knee on the floor or with your knee off the floor. So go ahead, rise up, inhale, find your balance. Interlace your fingers, exhale, opening up into cactus. And then rise both arms up again. And then we're gonna forward fold in front of that front, front leg again for runner's lunge. Back release the front foot, forward fold. Come into back extension. Back into forward fold, bending those knees. Rising up, inhale. Interlace the fingers and knee back and exhale. We're gonna swipe swan dive all the way down and forward fold. Come into back extension. Back into forward fold, we're gonna come into a plank. You wanna be on your knees or off your knees, come into upper dog or cobra. Come up, come down, upper dog or cobra. I'm doing upper dog, I have my knees off cobra, or the knees are on the ground. We're gonna go right back and say, downward dog. Coming to the other side, let's go ahead and rise our left leg up, stacking the hips, hands even in front of your mat. Then we straighten that left leg again for the three-legged dog. And let's go ahead and step this one through for a runner's lunge. So step it through. Okay, we're in our runner's lunge, pulling that left hip back, that right hip forward. If you want to come down to your knees, come down to your knees. You choose um, the, the, the difficulty of your workout. So you're going to rise up on this side. So go ahead, rise up, inhale, interlace your fingers, knee back bend, exhale, coming into that cactus. Inhale, rising both arms up. And then exhale, forward fold in front of that front leg. And then back foot meets the front foot. So the forward fold. Come into back extension, forward fold. Bending those knees, rising up, inhale, knee back bend. Exhale, come into cactus. In here, with both arms up, we're gonna come into uh, forward fold again, so swan dive. Forward fold. Come into your back extension, back into forward fold. Come into cobra or upward dog. So inhale, and then exhale, and we're done. All right, we're gonna do that again, and we're gonna add on. Let's go ahead and rise that right leg up, stacking the hips. And then straighten out that right leg, the three-legged dog. Let's go ahead and step it through. We're in that runner's lunge. Right hip back, left hip forward. And let's rise it up. You can be on your knees or off your knees. Rise it up, inhale, interlace the fingers. Exhale, coming into that cactus. Inhale, rising both arms up. Then exhale, hands are heart center. Okay, we're gonna come for a twist here, so twisting towards that right leg. We're gonna anchor that, um, that left elbow to the right knee, that right elbow to the sky. We're gonna take it back to center, reach up, inhale. And then exhale, hands to heart center. 
Okay, so we're gonna come into warrior three. We're gonna push off that back foot. Off that back foot, reach up for warrior three, finding balance. You focus on something. Gently step back. Inhale, and then back bend. Exhale, forward fold. And we're gonna come for a twist. And placing that right leg down. Back foot is the front foot, forward fold. Come into back extension, forward fold. Bending those knees, rising up, inhale. Into legs and fingers, knee back bend, exhale. Come into cactus, inhale. Rise both arms up, exhale. Swan dive, forward fold. Come into your back extension. Back into forward fold. Come into your plank, so you lower down all the way or halfway. Come into cobra, upper dog. Inhale, rise up, both arms up. And exhale. Other side, rising that left leg, stacking those hips. Straighten that leg, the left leg, be like a dog. Go ahead and step it through. Getting that runner's lunge, off the knees, um, off the knee or on the knee, you choose. Okay, we're gonna rise up, inhale, then you back in. Exhale, come into cactus. Inhale, rise both arms up, exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna come to warrior three on this side. So pushing up that back foot, warrior three, climb your balance. Then placing that back foot down, inhale, place your fingers, and your back bend, exhale, hands to heart center. Let's come for a twist on the left side. So anchoring that right elbow to the left knee, right elbow to the sky. Take back the center, reach up, find your balance. Your back bend. Forward fold for that front leg. We're gonna come for a twist on this side. So we that right arm for a twist. And for that left arm for a twist. <laughs> my left. So we're coming for a left arm for a twist. So pressing, placing that left arm down. Back foot to front foot. Forward fold. Back extension. Forward fold. Bending those knees. Rising up, inhale, back bend. And right step forward, fold, swan dive, forward fold. Back extension, forward fold. Coming into plank, so you lower down all the way or halfway. Coming into upper dog or cobra, so looking up to the side. Then coming into that downward dog. Alright, so let's do that again. We're going to add on. So we're rising that right leg up, stacking the hips. Straighten that right leg for the three legged dog. And then stepping it through for that lunge. Making sure your right hip is back, your left hip is forward. Reaching up, inhale. And then you back bend. Exhale, coming into cactus. Inhale, rising both arms up. Exhale. Hands to heart center. We're gonna push off that back foot for warrior three. Push off, balance. It's even. So gently step back. So maybe back bend, inhale, exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna come to the twist on the uh, uh, turning over to your right, anchoring that left elbow to right knee. Right elbow to the sky. And then take it back to center. It'll reach up, be back bend, inhale. Exhale forward, fold it from that front leg. Come in for that twist, lift it from that right arm for the twist. And then place 
that right arm down, and same with front leg. So front foot meets the back foot in a high plank. After five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come for a side plank. So turn it all over on your right side. Keep your hips up, don't let the hips sag. You need to come down to knee, come down to knee, hold it here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back to a high plank, making sure your shoulders are stacked over your wrists when you switch over. And to the other side. Left side, keep the hips up. For five, four, three, two, and one. So back to that high plank. Back to downward dog. We're going to walk our feet towards our hands. We're in our forward fold. Back extension. Forward fold. Bending those knees. And we're just going to hold it here. Hold it here. So keeping your hands on heart center. Or you can rise your hands up. You can also lift your heels up. One a little more. Hold it here a little more. Find some movement. And rise those hands up, looking back down to the heel. Come into that swan dive, forward fold. Here we have another side. Back extension, forward fold. Come into plank. Slowly lower down all the way or halfway. Coming into upper dog and curve it. Inhale. And then exhale. Okay, let's so rise our left leg up. Stacks in the hips. And straighten that leg. Left leg with your legged dog. Let's go ahead and step it through. Put in that runner's lunge. Point that left foot back, right foot forward. We're rise up, inhale, slice the fingers, exhale, and then cactus. Inhale, raise both arms up, exhale, hands to heart center. All right, let's push off that back foot for that three legged dog. Push off, balance, and that's for five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back, inhale, come back in. Exhale, forward, forward, and front, front leg. We're gonna come for that twist. So rising that left arm up for that twist. Then placing that left leg back down. Bring your front foot. Front foot meets the back foot. We're in our high plank here. You're gonna do that plank combination again. Making sure your shoulders are stacked over your wrist. Five, four, three, two, and one, and then take it to the right, keep the hips up, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it back to center, and then switch the other side, and that's for five, four, three, two, and one, back to high plank, back to downward dog, and walking your feet towards your hands in our forward fold. Back extension, forward fold. Bending those knees back into our chair, hands to heart center. While we're here, let's come for another twist here. So turning towards your right, right leg, so anchoring that left elbow to the right knee, right elbow to the sky. And that's for five, four, three, two, and one, take it back to center, other side. And that's for five, four, three, two, and one, back to center, rising up, inhale, and so it's a foot in, the foot in, knee back bend, but it's one dive, forward fold, and exhale. Coming to back extension, back into forward fold, we're going to come into plank, but this time we're going to come all the way down to our belly. And we're going to extend our arms out to the side for capital T. And then lifting that right foot up. 
So right foot up, taking that right hand. So make sure you pay attention to the, um, the right side because people mess this one up a lot. So we're gonna take, uh, so take your left ear to the mat. We're gonna flip that right foot over, stapling that right foot behind you. And we'll hang out here for a few breaths. Opening up that right knee. Another little knee back then here. <coughs> And just breathe. Back bend, shoulder stretch. Left hand side. Feels so good. And then we'll take it back to center. And then we'll do the other side. So again, extending those arms out to the side. Let's do the other side. So now I'm lifting that left foot, and then taking that left hand to help you flip over. So place it on right ear to the mat. And let's flip that uh, left leg back. And so we're shaping that left foot behind you. Just relax here for a few breaths. So wipe them. Here's to release. Just placing your left cheek on your hands. Another a gentle neck stretch. Let me do this here. And then turn your head the other direction. Your right cheek on your hands. And then we'll come back into that tabletop. And then we'll open up our knees, toes to touch. So let's go ahead and counter stretch that. We do the little mini back bend there. So let's do our counter stretch. So scooting those hips back. And then notice the difference from your first um, child pose. You might feel a little looser here. Might be able to get those hips down a little bit lower. Shoulder. So I'm placing that left hand on 
and then lower back and then reaching back and then we'll stretch here. You see it's uh, intensifying those toes. <laughs> Here that feels good for your feet. You can rotate your uh, feet. You can uh, straighten out your legs. Lift the left leg back. Let's go ahead and lower up your ankles. And then um, just go ahead and come into a uh, a straddle here. And just keeping your toes up. Your toes are to the sky. Make sure you're not moving them forward. And I'm going to go right into a forward fold. So, um, so this is my right. So this to be your left if you're mirroring me. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. You just grab wherever you can grab. Um, maybe it's your calf, maybe it's your ankle. Inhale, exhale, and pull. Inhale, exhale, if you want to take a nose to knee. And it's flipping your hand over, even opening up to the side. Think about uh, there's a wall behind you, lean up against that wall. That top hand is framing your head. And then just go ahead, flip over, we're gonna walk it over to the other side. Taking your time. So inhale, exhale, forward fold. Keeping the toes pointed to the sky. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Flipping that hand over. So this is my left, will be your right if you mirror me. And then open up to the other side, pulling that shoulder back. You can look over the sky or look down to the earth. And then taking that top hand to frame your head. Gently come, take it back to center. And just holding that stretch just for a few breaths in the center. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, exhale. So you can go down a little bit further. It in. And we're just going to come into easy seat here. We're going to close off class. Um, just finish it off with some gentle neck stretches. So making sure your shoulders are stacked over the hips, belly button, the spine. Um, so this is my uh, right over your left. So you want to take left, uh, left ear to left shoulder if you're hearing me. So without force. And then go ahead and turn your gaze towards your shoulder. Turn your gaze towards the sky. And then other 
other side. Make sure the other arm is extended out to the side. And then turn your gaze towards the sky. And take it back to center, and then just taking your chin forward and tuck it in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Rise your both arms up, inhale, and then exhale, hands to the heart center. As you move forward in your day, may you find peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you for joining me for class today. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. All right, hope you enjoyed this practice. Take care.